Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and in today's video I'm joined by my brother Guzuko. Hello. Hello. Yep. And uh, well, we decided that uh, since we have not been very lucky with our exploration so far that we are going to try a co-op abyssal filament. So I've got three dark filaments and we're gonna see if a worm and a comet can run this site. So let's start by going somewhere. Let's say planet uh, 4 and then we'll take moon 1 and then just do a warp within 100 kilometers. All right, off we go. Uh, it's uh, the first time that we've done this co-op filament thing. Normally it's for three players as well. So right away we're going in with a handicap and uh, we will see if just two frigates here can uh, can handle the content there so mine is like a, a, a pocket healer and uh, he's the police here uh, to arrest those triglavian bastards so i think i just have to right click <laughs> then uh use calm dark filament and then i have activate for fleet and then we'll have 20 minutes to get through all of that so let's go activating for fleet deploying so there is whoa that actually creates... That's different. Holy yeah. crap, that creates a wormhole that we can go through. So let's okay. go. Uh, 3, 2, 1. Abyssal Trace. Activate. Activates. We are <coughs> jumping into a co-op Abyssal Filament. I'm really curious to see uh, what kind of uh, enemies we encounter, how hard this is. But, uh, phew. Yeah, it's well... Uh, so a little bit of sweat on my palms here. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, go. I am in the first one. I'll just do a, a slow approach to... Oh, actually, we'll, we'll get going. And spark needles. And then we have... Something a big. as well. Something big as well, indeed. So I'm going to drop my drones, of course. Yeah, your targeting range is a lot smaller. I think just go straight for the big guy. Um, I'll do... Uh, what's I'm, my range? Uh, one the of the way. small ones is already on me. 30 okay, kilometers. I killed it. One small That's one good. is gone. Let's have a look. I'll do an orbit at 20 and then Photic Abyssal Overmind. Let's uh, start hammering him. See what kind of damage we can do. I've chosen an orbit at 20 for him. Oh, and here is the loot, Triglavian Cage. I'm actually going to. Yeah, you can destroy take that, those. Take the loot. Yeah. I'm Blaster Fit, so I have to get it to his. Face. Yeah, just uh, get in range, do as much damage as possible. I'll take care of the loot then. Uh, once I, I'm actually, once I'm smart okay. enough to actually use my missiles to uh, to attack the loot cache, that was a bit of a mistake. Let's go. Slow down a bit because I'm going so fast that I'm missing. Let's destroy it. All right, gonna do a little bit of wrapping as well. A B-type small shield booster. There we go. I'll grab the loot. Oh, and I should, of course, start attacking the Overmind as well. All right, 1.7 million in loot. I am going to start uh, orbiting the gate, maybe. Oh, one of my drones is taking a bit of damage. Okay, well, yeah, no problem. Uh, you can see the effect uh, above the gate. That is because of that short-range DV oh, okay. automata suppressor. So. That's an AOE that will damage drones, which is also the reason why I'm using Federation Navy Hobgoblins, because those have a lot more HP. Now we're slowly breaking this battleship, and my drones are also taking a little bit of shield damage. So let's try to get through that. Uh, the good news, I would say, is that this is normally the biggest HP challenge, uh, these um, drone battleships. Yeah. Okay. And so we are slowly... Yeah, I see that it, it does have a lot of... <laughs> Maybe I'll HP approach it. Um, just because I want to be able to pick up my drones a bit more quickly. Yeah, um, I'm retreating mine because they're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, so that's again my Federation uh, Navy Hobgoblins are still holding strong. Uh, this is a dark filament by the way, if anyone is wondering. So we do have a lot more speed. But your turrets will have far worse tracking. I'm gonna bump this bastard. There we go. As he explodes, okay, return to drone bay. Go towards the gates. Reloading. And let's do a reload as well here. What are those extraction nodes? 
Uh, potential extra loot. I think we'll skip that for now, just to play yeah, it we'll safe just on this one. Try um, to get just through it. Okay. <laughs> I'm already into through. Three, two, one. Yep, I'm taking the conduit. Okay, uh, we've got now, something to note, for instance, your modules, oh, okay. even your afterburner, will stay active if you want to through this jump. Uh, next, we have a couple of small ones, but Damavix. So we're Damavix, up against yeah. actual Triglavians on this one. So let's yeah. start firing at the first one. Luckily, uh, I basically have the perfect damage type, of course. Strong drones and missiles to tackle those. And are they going after you? I am taking damage from one of them. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll, is, I'll approach you. I'll he's also... You. Oh, and I think he's being one repaired, is but, yeah, I, yeah. but I killed him. Yeah. They do that. They do that as well. Let's go after the second one. Okay. So, right away Whip. as well, what I don't like too much myself is how hectic this feels. I'm more of a cruiser and up kind of kind of guy, a bit slower. Uh, then uh, the pace of frigates, but overall this this still feels quite okay. We still have yeah. plenty of time. It's three rooms, yeah, good hit. so we'll go like this. And I should, of course, I think just add you to my watch list so that I can more easily interact with you. So we're doing all of this stuff on the fly right now, but it is going quite well. Let's do a little bit more repairing. And then we'll go for the bioadaptive cache at 25 kilometers. Let's start approaching that. And that's it. So this room was definitely pretty easy and pretty doable. Yeah. Calling drones. We'll blow up the loot. And that's then the last... Uh, the last room uh, coming room. next, yeah. And so those extra Triglavian extraction subnodes give you extra loot, but you can tell 50, 60, 70 kilometers away. Uh, it basically will cost you some travel time. Oops, loot all, uh, 5 million, including a calm firestorm filament. So we can head towards the uh, transfer conduit at this point. 8 kilometers off. Mm -hmm. Three, two, oh, okay, one. but we can. can we have it. Yeah. fifty minutes. Okay, so if we kill these in the last uh, room, needles, we'll, we'll try to grab all the loot, maybe. Yeah, because we, we do, do have, have time. Sure. And I think if there's room, I'm not sure if a frigate can actually. Ooh, that's a bit more though. So lots of um, rogue drones on this one. So again, I'm gonna deploy my drones. Gonna start firing my missiles, and I'm gonna orbit you at a thousand, and <coughs> you can yeah, and then uh, we'll. Uh, We'll see how it works out. First one is down, though. These guys do get wrecked quite hard. I'll add my missiles to your targets. I am going to indeed like this. All right. Nice and easy. And so this is your very first time in the Abyss, or have you done Cruiser Abyssal content? I've done a few cruisers <laughs> until I lost <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Once you go into tier 3 and up, it, it really does become a lot more dangerous all of a sudden, potentially. So you have to be careful. Just look at the graphics, though. Uh, yeah, you know, you get this awesome asteroid. And then always be a little bit careful, because if you're too far away, um, there is also a problem with, uh, with the boundary uh, that can do lots of damage. But we yeah, you you really have to keep an eye on a lot here. Yes, yeah, exactly. There's like exactly. another of those automata suppressors, and I don't have buffed drones, so mine would die real quick. Yeah, exactly. So there really is a lot to look at. Another three million. So this is definitely pretty fast and efficient. I'll go to the uh, uh, extra loot that's up, and you can yeah. go to all, take the one that's down if you want. At seventy, I got it. And so you have to also destroy that. And my max target range is 37. Got it. But I have to say, this felt pretty good. On top of yeah. that, we have really good damage. If you can imagine a third player in there that, that can remote rep you. Uh, can be a pretty interesting experience. And I have to say as well here, it feels a lot more accessible because it's frigates. Right, we are using two faction frigates. It's not that expensive compared to losing a completely pimped out Gila or something like that because you want to do those really high tiers. 
um, that can be a lot more annoying and on my end here I do have a nice visual of the boundary which you don't want to cross in a frigate I don't think and then we'll just head back whoops, with the afterburner please towards the conduit be ready to get out um, and very noticeable for me here as well the loot from these extra cages is a lot less than what you get from the main bioadaptive cage that you go after but we yeah have my was empty, so. empty <laughs> even. yeah that happens from time to time as well <laughs> uh, and yeah we still have 11 minutes left so tier ones two faction frigates very easy uh to to get through that especially i think with something like my worm uh, which is the basically the equivalent of a gila but in frigate form get the missiles get the buffed up strong drones with lots of hp and uh yeah we did pretty damn well so as soon as you're in range we'll uh, go through the origin oh, conduit i'm going i'm going already yeah, that's so. fine that's fine Zoom. you can take it i will do so as well cool tunnel animation as well yeah and I'm out. And I am still taking the conduit at this point, but zip, there I go. And I think you actually have to get into the system itself. Oh, wow. Oh, that was cool. Considered out. And there you go. That is an Abyssal Dungeon. Go up Abyssal Dungeon. The trace looks completely different. Actually, looks really cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, very, very interesting experience. If perhaps we would get. Um, a third player that can remote rep. I do think that you have lots of potential here uh, for some fun co-op gameplay, but I have to admit as well, I tend to be a little bit more risk averse. So let's go back to the Astra Hoos. And uh, I'm probably, if I do this type of content, I probably stick to low tiers so that, uh, well, we can just get in and out very quickly, grab the loot and not risk too much when it comes to ships and implants and stuff like that. Yeah. How many new filaments did you get from this? Uh, just one. Just oh, one so, one. so if you want to keep doing these, you're going to have to buy filaments, probably. If you want to stick to a single tier and a certain type, I think you do. And yeah, um, yeah it's, it's three. Yeah, I do think you'll want extra. If it's only one, if you're doing this solo, I think you can very easily sustain uh, the, uh, the filaments uh, just by running the sites but in co-op it's three filaments per site that is going to uh, require a little bit of buying but these are super cheap actually at the moment so i'm actually gonna put that in the item hanger and yeah there you go guys that was a quick look at a co-op abyssal uh, dungeon thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next time bye